So the next two disorders we're going to look at are somatoform and disassociative disorders. So the first being somatoform, and somatoform, if you guys remember back to the biology chapter, somatic nervous system is the voluntary movement, uh, also deals with skin sense registration. So, you know, you jump into a pool and uh, the information about how cold the water is gets transmitted back to your body, to your brain, through the uh, somatic nervous system. It's also, again, voluntary muscle movement. So the first one is what we call a conversion disorder. And a conversion disorder is a disorder where a person has some sort of psychological issue. And this psychological issue or problem is converted to a physical problem. Now, the person is not faking it because these symptoms, these physical symptoms are very, very real. So a person may have witnessed some sort of horrific uh, accident and they may lose their sight. They simply cannot see now. Um, their eyes work fine. There's nothing wrong with their brain. However, this psychological problem has manifested itself into a physical problem. Um, if you guys remember in class, we talked about, or we actually watched the video of the teens in New York who were displaying the Tourette's-like behavior. Um, and that one psychiatrist talked about how, you know, it's possibly a conversion disorder. So they have some sort of psychological problem that has converted itself to a physical one. So conversion disorder. Uh, next one is hypochondriasis, so hypochondriacs. Now it's important to note that hypochondriacs they actually go to doctors. They seek out medical knowledge, medical staff, medical professionals. Um, they seek out specialists too. Uh, despite all the evidence that there's nothing wrong with them, a person who suffers from hypochondriasis uh, believes that yes, there is something wrong. A lot of times a hypochondriac, they pick a disorder which is very rare um, so they can argue with the doctor that you know what, um, the tests that you're performing don't actually test for said disorder or said disease. So you need to test um, do or do more tests on me because these tests will show that I do in fact have this disorder or I should say this disease. And the next one is what we call oops, body dysmorphic disorder, BDD. This is where a person is uh, preoccupied with a perceived flaw and this preoccupation, so they're constantly thinking about it, is so bad that they may not go out in public because they think everywhere they go a, the other people that they come across are constantly staring at this flaw that they supposedly had. So, you know, it was brought up that Michael Jackson, when he was alive, um, suffered from BDD. So he thought that his nose was extremely large, and, you know, that's one reason why he possibly got the constant plastic surgery. So, with the BDD going on. The next branch of disorder are disassociative disorders. So, disassociative, to disassociate means to break or to split. So the first one is disassociative amnesia. And all these disassociative disorders deal with some sort of stress being the precipitating factor. Um, so what dissociative amnesia is a person experiences some sort of stressful event and they lose their memory, uh, their self-identity, who they are. Uh, there's no physical reason as to why they should or didn't suffer any sort of trauma to the head or didn't suffer any sort of disease or, or illness. Um, but it's because of this stressful event and the stressful event caused them to forget large chunks of who they are or their life. Our uh, next one is dissociative few or fugui and this is when a person again has a stressful event and a lot of times they flee to a different area to a different part of the country and they take up residence and assume a new identity. They do not remember anything about their past. They can't tell you how they got there. They just did. They, they got there and this is who they are. And if you produce a picture and says, well, look, this is who you really are. You're really, you know, Joe. Uh, they'll say, no, I, that's not me. Um, I've always been here. And, you know, I don't know who that person is you're talking about. So the next one, which is the most, um, I don't know, popular type of disorder is disassociative identity disorder a.k.a. multiple personality. 
This is when a person has two or more distinctly different personalities. Important, distinctly different. All right, and there's a lot of theories as to how this disorder comes about. Um, probably the most popular, and, and I would say probably may, maybe even the most reliable disorder or reason for this disorder is a person experiences some sort of traumatic event, and instead of dealing with that problem, they simply say, it didn't happen to me, it happened to someone else, and their mind creates this alter personality to help them deal with the problem. All right, so you have two or more distinctly different personalities. And the last one is what we call depersonalization. This is a feeling of detachment from your body. So the person feels as if they are not real, that they're watching their lives being played out on a screen in front of them, um, that uh, it's, it's just they're watching a movie, and they can't control what they do. Um, just doesn't feel right. So again, you got that disassociative, that splitting, that breaking uh, of a consciousness almost. All right, so this is the next one, and stay tuned for more.